Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Children here at Analytica. It's day two and I'm delighted to be joined by William Malali from Presenter Life Sciences. He's going to give you an update on what's been happening at Presenter Life Sciences. A quick overview of the company and also what we're talking to us about here this week at Analytica. So first of all, Olivia, how are you? Good. It's it's a very exciting time. It's you know, analytica happens once every two years, and uh, we are back in full force. Now this is day two. So how was day one? You know what? We had more of a crowd than we thought we would. So day one was busier than expected, and I think uh, a lot of people are ready to get out of the house and come meet people. So I feel like it's back. It's back to how it was before COVID. Absolutely. So Zenta Life Sciences is a brand new company. However, we are not brand new when it comes to our experience and expertise and technology. Zenta Life Sciences was born in November of last year, and in December we rang the Nasdaq bell as well. You've heard of the other companies that are part of Azenta. So Brooks Life Sciences, GeneWiz, um, uh, Lymphinity, a variety of companies that have been brought together in the past 20 years and have become Azenta now. And the goal of Azenta is to take companies through sample life cycle management. So all the way from sample sourcing, through sample analysis, through all the consumables and instruments, through sample storage, whether it's on-site or off-site. So the technologies we offer go across the sample life cycle. As you can see in our booth here, cryogenic, automated car cryogenic is sort of the big part of what we do and an important part. Um, what's really exciting is when you think of cryogenic storages, you're thinking about the guy who digs in and brings out the, the samples, but here it's automated. And uh, you're going to talk to a colleague of mine and get an overview of that. It is absolutely automated. You can walk in, plug in through the data, and find the samples you need. So we really are focusing on this uh, technology but it is across the life cycle of a sample that we want to offer as partners. Because when you look at what's happening with cell and gene therapy, what's happening with drug discovery, a large part of what a lot of companies need are the right partners so that they can work, they can focus on the science. So we joke at Azenta and we say, let's take care of your samples, you do the science. That's great. Now, actually, part of the answer to the questions I was going to ask you is say, how has sample management changed over the last few years? I know you've touched on this now, but what have been some major changes that you've seen in the last few years? I think what COVID really changed was this notion that sample management, good sample management, can allow technologies and therapies to come into market faster. And I think that is the key, whether, you know, automation, sample integrity. There was a time when clinical trials were more local, but now clinical trials are global, which means that sample management goes across the you know, world. So you need to be able to manage samples. Um, what has really changed is also, it's not just the big companies that are doing drug development. I mean, we've all heard of the small company called Moderna that put out a vaccine. A lot of these small companies are using sample management, are outsourcing that part so that they are able to focus on the science. And I think that has been one of the big changes. Another big change that's coming, and it is already here, is regulation. When you look at cell and gene therapy and you're looking at samples, how we manage samples, all of this is getting regulated, which means that sample integrity, compliance is becoming important as well. So I think this is what has really changed in the past few years, and it's going to get more and more rigorous as we go forward. Right. And again, I think you've asked me my next question, because I was going to ask you, and I will ask you anyway, you had a talk this morning, so what was the talk about? Well, the talk was about this. The talk very much was about how to bring therapies to market faster. You know, that is our reason to be. Um, I, I always, you know, when I talk about companies and where we work, we choose to work in life sciences companies. I've been in diagnostics and life sciences my whole career, and many of us have. I mean, you're traveling all the time because you're choosing to be here because what we are in the market to do, literally every company here at Analytica is here to help pharma companies save lives. And I think 
that is the essence of what Azenta is trying to do. Be a good partner when it comes to sample management, focus on that so that pharma companies can start saving even more lives. I know uh, we're going to see uh, a mission with you that you've said for a few other products. So viewers, we're going to do something for this year now. And we're going to switch over to another speaker to learn about something for you. Thank you, Rizwan. Thank you. Hello. Good afternoon. Just like magic, we are now joined by Chris Kaiser okay. uh, from Azenta Life Science. And Chris is going to talk about the bio store. So first of all, Chris, it's lovely to see you. How are you? Uh, my name, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Brilliant. So um, three very basic questions. What is the bio store? What does it do? What's it for? And what makes it unique? Yeah. So mainly the bio store itself is a liquid nitrogen store. We are not storing directly in the liquid nitrogen, but in the vapor phase. That's vital important because if the liquid nitrogen is going into a tube and the tube is closed and you remove the tube and afterwards you're presenting it into the room temperature, sometimes it happens that it will explode. So therefore, it's vital important that the samples are, are stored in the vapor phase. So the system itself is an semi-automated system and uh, what does it mean semi-automated system uh, the system uh, the the tubes are stored in such a box and that box is stored into into freezer racks which are placed in a carousel in the tank in the vapor phase itself so with the software you tell the system, I need sample number XYZ. And then the system knows, okay, sample XYZ is in box 25. And then the system is presenting you the box 25. And then you can select the box. And then the system tells you which samples you have to retrieve. Brilliant. So, I know this is not working out, but can, you sh can we see the inside of the... Of course you can. So, the sample have is going... The samples are going here inside. Right. And then the lift system is lowering the rack into the box, into the tank itself. So you can have a look on it. And maybe you're feeling that this surface is warm. The reason is that there's a lot of cold here inside and humidity is, is, is condensing on that area. And to, um, uh, to, um, to avoid the condensing, this, this part is, is heated. Because condensing means later on ice. And ice is, is, is not this what we want to have. Right, and actually, uh, can we see how the trays go in? Can you open that compartment here? I can open that compartment. Right, so of course. the actual trays go in here. And then how many trays can you actually get into the system? Uh, in this system, in this, that's a mid-size system. In the mid-size system, we can get uh, 18 freezer racks. Uh, in the big size, we can get uh, 48. And uh, yeah, and then the small unit, we have also a small unit there we can get, uh, I think, eight or something like that. That's brilliant. Look, thank you for giving me that quick overview of the bio store. Okay. It's really interesting and obviously very opportune given the move to biologics now. Yeah. So what you are seeing first is here, that's a tank. Yeah. And here on the bottom, there is the liquid nitrogen. Oh, right, at the very base, right. Then we have here the carousel you have seen before. Yeah. We had a look on it. So the samples are not in contact with liquid nitrogen, as I told before. Then we have uh, a carousel, and the carousel is, is, is driven by a motor, so automatically. And this is combined to a computer and to the software. And this one here is the retrieval um, lift. It is insulated so that the samples are uh, stayed as long as possible at low very low temperature and if you have a look on the back side here there we have the controller 
All right. Okay. And the controller is responsible. Let me move around and show yes, you. Yes, you can do videos. that. So, and the controller is responsible to fill the tank with liquid nitrogen. Right. So in, in the beginning, the, we, we are filling the liquid nitrogen with uh, uh, this tank with around uh, yeah, 150 liter liquid nitrogen, sorry. And then we have a daily uh, consumption of uh, around nine liter per day. And this has to be always replaced. And that's the controller for. He opens the valve and then the liquid nitrogen is added the, again. And so that we always have a, a defined level of liquid nitrogen. Good. And if something happens, it could happen that uh, the liquid nitrogen supply doesn't work. This system is very insulated and uh, the samples remain more than uh, 20 days below 100, minus 130 degrees. So we are also safe. And the next point is, even if this is an automated system, if the electricity is gone, you always have the possibility to retrieve your samples manually. So don't be afraid that your samples are locked no way you have every time have access yes, to your samples and that's a very big benefit of the system really? well, look, thank you for giving me such a thorough overview there Fred. so there you go viewers if you're here at analytica then check out the booth it's stand number 334b in hall b1 uh, and if you can't make it where else can we get more information for it? um come to me or come to our booth and uh, ask for me and we can we can discuss your needs and uh, if I'm not available then please wait or ask my colleagues they will uh, they will ask you the first uh, uh, they will answer you the first question and then I will come into 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 action later on Brilliant. And, and you can find out more information with your LinkedIn page and website right yes of course of course you can get these information also on our website and if you have detailed question please write on the website, there's a special request area. Uh, you can ask the question and then we will get in contact with you. And my, I'm personally, I'm responsible for the duck region here. That means Germany, Austria and Switzerland. But um, all your requests are also um, uh, tr uh, passed to the, to the colleagues in, of the other areas. Fantastic. So. Brilliant, well look, thank you very much for your time. If you want to know more, come and check out the booth here or you can check out the website and also the LinkedIn page and I'm sure the Zenta Life Science will be lots of other events throughout the year all over the globe so you can check them out in person there. So thanks once for all Fritz and thank you viewers. Until next time, stay well and stay safe. Bye bye. Thank you very much.